you're going to um, you're going to want to get these stamps. These are brand new, just released, and let me just show you what they create. So here is the finished product. This is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to show you how to put this together, and the stamp itself is very basic. So let me just kind of put it up with a background here so that you can see um, exactly what it looks like. You can see this is the stamp. This is the actual clear stamp and we're going to add flowers and foliage to this and we're going to create this amazing uh, project that looks like this and large enough to frame. So, so much fun. There are four of them in this line. I wish I had time to do all four, but we're going to do that little wood table and let me just show you which one that is. That is this one right here. So it is so much fun. We're gonna get to it right now. And um, I think you're gonna love it. And like I said, if you've never done this technique before, now is a great time to start. And it's a super easy project. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not hard, it's all the same technique, and it's using stamps that um, we have had from the very beginning. So I will go into much more detail about that and show you exactly how to put that project together. Stay with me. Okay, everyone, here is the project we're going to be doing. Now, this is one of our foundation sets, and I'm just gonna show you kind of how this works. So here's the actual stamp, and I'm just gonna hold it up so that you can see it. This is actually it right here. Here is the finished product. So basically what we're doing is kind of filling in the blanks. So we're just adding the flowers and the foliage to uh, all of these little images here. Actually, let me just put this under here. Now you can see it a lot better. So here is actually what the stamp looks like. And uh, here is what it looks like finished. And the whole point of these is that we're doing big projects, things that we could put in frames. So it's all the same watercolor technique. It's just that it's on a larger scale and just so much fun to do. So here you go again, you can see where that stamp is and then where I've added the flowers and foliage to it. So there are four in this line and let me just show you what those are. There are four sets. <clears throat> this one is the doorway. You can see this small image here. Uh, here is the colored version on here. And let me just show you what that stamp actually looks like. Uh, let me use this again so that you can see. So here is the doorway. It's very similar to the other one that I showed you. It's filling the blanks. So we're filling in all these little pots, growing things up around the door. And uh, these will all be on YouTube. So eventually these, all of these projects will be on YouTube. So you'll have uh, tutorials that you can see and you'll be able to see how to do all of these projects. So this one is Foundation's Door. Uh, this one here is the Potting Bench. And you can see here is the image right here. Let me show that to you again. Here's what that stamp actually looks like. And you can see here's the Potting Bench. Here are all the pots. And then you are filling in the blanks so that you can see exactly how to do that. This one is the chairs. This is the chair set. This one's super, super fun to do. Again, same concept. You've got the large stamp here and you're just filling in the blanks. Let me show you that one too so that you can see exactly how that works. So you can see all these little empty pots. We're just filling those in. So these are all kind of working along the same, uh, the same way, the same concept. And we're gonna work our way through one of them here. So this is the one that I showed you in the frame. So that is this one right here, and I've stamped it on watercolor paper, and this is it. It's very big, and I used my stamp platform so that I could uh, get it stamped onto my watercolor paper, and now I'm just going to use my markers. These are Tombow markers. This is what I'm using, just these colors right here, and a brush and a palette, and that is all we need. Uh, now, in addition, uh, we do need a few more stamps. So here's what I'm using. Now, this is a line of watercolor stamping. A lot of these sets are already on our website. So if you've got any of these flowers and foliage sets, you can obviously just fill this right in. So here are the two to start with. This is the flowers and the foliage set. Set Kind of set one and two, the ones to start with, 4051 and 4052. If you have these two, you can do this whole project. There are more. I'm using some from these two sets. This is foliage set four, flower set two. And uh, really, uh, just whatever flowers and foliages you want to use are going to work. So let's get going here. Now what I've done is, let me just zoom in here a little bit so that I can get this a little closer here so that you can see what I'm doing. Make sure I get this in the screen. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is dip my brush in water and I'm going to pinch off, or, uh, um, pinch off my brush 
and then pull the color out of the lines. Now I've stamped this onto my watercolor paper using two colors. I used a dark brown, this one right here, 969, and then right over the top, I colored it with 565. So two colors, these two colors, and then I've stamped it off and stamped it on my watercolor paper. And I just went ahead and did it ahead just for time's sake. And um, just uh, so we don't use up too much time doing that. So now I'm just pulling the color out of the lines. I'm just dragging my brush along these lines and dragging the color out. And you can see that this color is now kind of coming out. And this is what makes it look uh, three-dimensional. So uh, like I said earlier, these projects will all be on YouTube. They'll also be on our Facebook Live. Uh, so all of our Facebook Lives will be archived on our Facebook page. So you can go there and see all kinds of tutorials on how to do these. But honestly, they're all the same. So once you get the concept, you will be able to do it for all four of those new sets. Okay, so now I've kind of pulled this color out of the lines. You can see I've kind of followed the lines here. Let me hold this up a little bit so you can see how three-dimensional this looks already. It's already looking like uh, it's got some dimension to it. And so now we're gonna go ahead and put in our flowers and foliages. And I'm just gonna ink all of those with my, um, with my watercolor, or uh, with my markers. That's what we're gonna be using. And so I'm just gonna start out maybe with some greens and some blues here. So let's take, um, Let's take one of these little flowers. This is from the uh, that original flower set. And I'm just going to stamp this in here, just kind of uh, in a few different places. So maybe some up in here. Uh, maybe I'll just add a few down in here and just kind of mix this up a little bit. Maybe I'll just put a few in here as well. And then I can change the color. So I can kind of clean this off and change the color to maybe uh, something more violet like this one and I'll put some of this maybe in this pot and maybe I'll just kind of hang some over the side like that uh, maybe a little bit in here and in here let's just do a little bit more in here and I'm going to put all of the flowers all of the foliage in and then I'll add water to it it's just when you're doing these big um, these big images, it's really, it's kind of fun to just kind of let all those colors blend together a little bit. So I'm going to now add some flowers down into here. I'm gonna use this one right here. This one has the blooms at the top, so I'm just gonna use some purple. And then I'm going to use some green and get the grass down in here. And then I'm going to just kind of cover it up with a piece of masking tape. So basically what this is, it's it's sort of like a post-it note. And then we can just kind of cover up the pot so that I'm not stamping over the top of this container. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's add something now into this one. And I think I will just add some foliage in here. You can just kind of grab things that you have. And especially if you're just starting out, just use those, uh, just use that foliage and flowers from those two simple sets that you can start out with. It's really uh, an easy way to start. It's not super expensive and you can uh, do a lot with just that one set. This is one that's from it also. And you can see I'm just inking part of it. So I'm only inking the tip just to get uh, some of this foliage in here. I don't need the whole thing. And I'm just kind of tapping it in and just kind of filling these buckets. Um, so let's go with something like this one. This is a grass. This is a little grass and then it's got some little blooms at the top which we can change color with. And I think I'm going to just use that post-it note again and just stamp this on here. Maybe get a little bit more. Just stamp this on here again, just kind of wherever. And maybe one more. And now I can remove that so I've got all of this in my pot. So I'm just kind of adding more and more uh, things in here. Some texture, some grasses. Let's add some grass in. So let's put this on here like this. And 
let's put some, just put some grasses in here just to add a little more texture. Maybe some down in here where it looks like this pot is kind of tipped over. And maybe a little bit in here. How about some up in here? So just a little texture just everywhere. You can just keep adding as much as you want to. Uh, how about this one? This is a leaf and we can just add some of this in here. It's kind of this bright green, so cute. Kind of brightens everything up a little bit. And we'll just keep putting that in. Uh, let's see, what else can we put in here? How about something like this? Maybe some purple. And we can just kind of stamp this in here like this. Just add a little bit more. Uh, maybe some of those down here. I mean, just wherever you want to add something, you know, just keep putting it in. Just keep putting it in. And then at the end, we'll just kind of uh, finish it all up uh, with some more long stems. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm just going to add some more flowers in here. You know, with these, I don't even need to use the stem. I can just, I can just ink the blooms. Okay, so it looks like this is all just getting really full here. Let's go ahead and do some water now. So I'm going to dip my brush in water and pinch it off. And now I'm going to start just softening all these lines. I'll start out with this blue that I um, started the whole process with. And I'm just kind of tapping it with my brush. Uh, let's go on and just go to the pink then. So this little, it's actually more of a, a violet color. And you're just you're just um, you're just blending the color. So you want to leave some white spaces, and just kind of tap, just kind of dab. Dab is a good word. And then we can go on to some of these purple little purple blooms up in here. These down in here. Just kind of down. Be sure to leave some white spaces. I mean, really, this whole technique is so simple, but that's probably one of the of the uh, critical rules is that you leave some white space. You don't want to color everything in solid. Now, here's that little grassy part. So I'm just kind of adding some water to that. I'm just adding water to everything that I, I just stamped. I can add a little bit to this out here, and you can see how this is all just kind of starting to come together and all just kind of blend. It's just so fun. And these projects are just, they're, they're really, really fun to do. And because they're big, uh, they look really impressive and it looks like you spent forever um, putting these projects together. And honestly, they're just, just the easiest thing to do. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and add some water now to the container, or some color now to the container. Super easy to do. I'm just gonna put some color onto my palette. This is just some green, uh, maybe some purple, uh, maybe some blue, some dark blue. And let's see what else, what other colors here? Some purple, blue, maybe a little violet just like this. Okay, so we're gonna now add some color and we're just gonna do that from the palette. And you're going to add the color kind of the way that you pulled the color out of the line. So where it's the darkest to where it's the lightest. And anything that's that's rounded, like these pots, they're gonna be darker on the side. You wanna be sure to leave that highlight in the center. I have lots of Facebook Lives and lots of tutorials on YouTube on this technique. So if you're really interested in that, check those out because uh, it's really hard to get all the information, you know, into a short little video like this one. But um, you can certainly check out Facebook. Uh, I'm live on Facebook every Wednesday at 10 o'clock a.m. and that's Pacific time. And I have new watercolor projects every Wednesday. Uh, including these foundations. So they really, really are fun to do. And there's so many different ways that you can, that you can use these stamps and do these projects. So I'm just going to put a little detail on here on this one. 
And I'm just, you can see that I'm just putting color on to all these different little containers. Just brush it on from your palette. You always want to dip your brush in water and take a little bit of color and just brush it on. There's, it's always going to be darker on the bottom or on the sides. And then let's just put some color back here on this one, maybe a little green. It's kind of in the background, so it doesn't need a lot back here. Okay, so let's kind of, you know, make our way and just come down a little bit farther. And let's just do this one. Let's make this container white. And if it's white, it's gonna have a shadow and that would be blue. So anything that's white is still going to have some color on it. And then maybe, um, how about something bright on this one? And you can see I'm really concentrating the color on the outside uh, because these are all rounded. They're all rounded containers and so they're gonna have that highlight in the center. So we wanna really concentrate that color on the sides. And then make sure that center, you know, right here in the middle, that that has a highlight. And let's just do a little more green over here. And just drag this color on. So the highlight in, in this case would be coming straight down because this little pot's kind of laying on its side. So it's gonna be darker on the side. And then this, this area up here is gonna be a highlight. So let's make some gray. And in order to make gray, we're just gonna add a little brown to this dark blue. And this is just the dark brown that I started with, so the 969. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just kind of mix it in. And then I can create this little gray bucket. Uh, stay in each section. I mean, these are all rules that you need to follow in order to get a really good result. But if you do, you'll just be amazed at what you can make. This technique is just so, so much fun. And everything is kind of made to work together. And I'm just going to now add a little um, shadow underneath this, this handle. And you can see how that just kind of pops that that handle out. I'm gonna go back in now and just add a shadow under uh, all these little pots here where the lips kind of hang over. Anywhere that there would kind of be a, a hangover. <laughs> and then let's add, let's add some uh, detail in here. So maybe, maybe a pink stripe. And maybe some purple some purple on this pot here. Make that a little wider. There we go. So you can see it's starting to come together. Always make sure, I'm just gonna add a little darker color here because you wanna always make sure those sides are just a little bit darker than the center. It's really, really important. Okay, so I'm gonna add some shadow now to this little table. We're gonna just kind of keep it uh, keep it uh, white. So that means a blue shadow. And so I'm just adding a little bit of this blue onto here and onto the sides. And then a little shadow uh, from where these containers are. So we're just gonna kind of drag this blue over, just like that. This under here is gonna be really dark under here. And then we can add some, uh, some dark color. So a little shadow underneath. So especially under this, this little pot, got a shadow under there. And this one here, this one here, and this one here. And then just a few little uh, marks like this will kind of show where those flowers are kind of hanging over. You don't have to stress out too much about this. This is really simple but it just kind of gives the idea that there's a shadow there. And that's really, really important to show, including on these little pots too. Just show a few little shadows like that. It's just little brush marks.
just kind of hanging over like that. And then if you want to, you could take some of this, um, some of this blue and just put a little color into the background as well. You know, just kind of drag this color out. You can kind of soften it and just kind of drag it out a little bit. But you can see how quickly this kind of comes together. It's just so fun and so simple. And you would just, you would never know that this was, uh, that this was stamped. And that's just so cool. So let's add a few more little accents in here. We can add some long stems now that we've got, kind of got all of our background in. So let's just do that with some long stems like this one. So maybe I'll just use some purple and just add purple here and then maybe a green stem. And I'll just kind of stamp this in here, just kind of over some of these lines. And maybe let's just do a couple of others here, just like that. And maybe something like this one. We can just kind of stamp this out here. Just add a few more little um, accents like this. And then let's go the other direction. And then maybe something like these little guys, these little blooms here. Let's do some purple. So this is the reason that we use uh, markers is because uh, we're doing two colors on these. You know, when you're when you're adding these uh, these details like that, you you're gonna need to use uh, a marker because you're gonna do the blooms in one color and you're gonna do the stems in another. Let's just do another one of these. And we'll just add the stem on like that. And maybe we will just put this one. Actually, let's do the other one. Let's do the other direction, this one. So I'm just gonna ink that stem again and this little purple bud. And I'm gonna put it right in here. And then we just add a little bit of water to that bud. So not the stem, you don't need to add any water uh, to the stem. You do wanna just leave that kind of as it is. And then we'll add a little water to these. And then if you want, you can, you can just tap these and add a little water to these too. And let's just add another, let's just add a little more detail to this. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. Just so much fun. And every time you do these, they're gonna be different. And how fun would this be with maybe a Southwest theme? You could easily do that with some cactus. That'd be so, so cute. Uh, just change it up to fall colors maybe. That would also be so cute. So just the sky is the limit. Let me show you this again so that you can see. You can also take your fine tip now and just kind of go in and see where there's maybe some details that you could um, accent a little bit anywhere that you think it would be darker. So you can see this little handle. Um, I can make that a little bit darker maybe inside this pail a little bit. Put some of these details back in. Uh, you could also take something really simple like, um, like these little, uh, like the little dots. So these little dots right here and add some of these in. Just a simple little, little dot. So you can just completely fill these pots up. I mean, it's really easy to get carried away, you guys. It really is. But it's just so much fun. And then just add a little water to it. And just touch it. Just the funnest thing. So really, all of the stress has been removed, and you're just kind of filling in the blanks. 
and get your flowers and foliages out and just kind of um, have fun with these. And check out uh, the YouTube tutorials because there are there are uh, tutorials now on uh, Facebook Live and they will be on every Wednesday. They'll be on every Wednesday at 10 o'clock uh, Pacific time in the morning. And those will stay archived on there for lots and lots of watercolor tutorials. Uh, always be sure to sign and uh, date at the bottom. could just add a few more little details in here. And then I'll hold this up so that you can see. Check us out on our uh, social media, our Instagram, our Facebook page, of course, our, um, our YouTube channel. And there you go. It's completely finished and ready to put into a frame, something like this. Uh, somebody would love to have this. Be sure that you sign and date it.